welcome to bsc statistics students in this class i explain in this lesson i explain processing of hand jobs through k machines uh, how that is how to process hand jobs through k machines in sequencing problem so for example this is the table for processing times uh, of uh, n jobs jobs n jobs that is that is considered n jobs 1 2 3 and so on n and k machines 1 2 3 and so on k so you have to consider uh, like uh, for example uh, uh, the machine 1 processing times for uh, processing times are t11 t21 331 and so on tn1 that is uh, for example j j is equal to 1 here which represents the sec first mission similarly second one j is equal to 2 ti t12 t22 t t32 and so on tn2 that is j is equal to 2 so i refers job and j refers mission and so on kth mission t1k t2k t3k and so on tnk which are the processing times of uh, k missions uh, and n jobs uh, in in the in particular sequence uh, i have specified here so now the algorithm it is going to be considered first of all you have to determine you see step one it is to determine uh, minimum times of ti1 and ti and so on uh, um, minimum times of ti1 and tik for the first mission and last mission you have to find the minimum times minimum processing times for first mission and the last mission and the maximum of uh, every mission remaining missions that is ti2 ti3 tik minus 1 except the first and last you have to calculate the maximum processing times okay so that is what you have to calculate in step 1 and in step 2 you have to check whether whatever the processing times you have to cal you have calculated you have to check whether now minimum of ti1 is greater than or equal to maximum of tij for all j is equal to 2 3 and so on k minus 1 whichever we have calculated maximum processing times for second third and and so on k minus 1th missions uh, we have to uh, see that we have to check the check whether uh, minimum of ti1 first mission whether it is greater than or equal to maximum of tij remaining all missions except k and uh, similarly minimum of tik that is last mission processing time you have calculated minimum it whether it is greater than or equal to maximum of tij here also tij maximum of tij is nothing but uh, maximum of all the missions that is second third and, and so on k minus one th missions you have to consider of all maximum values if all maximum values maximum mm, processing times are greater that are less than or equal to which means minimum of tik is greater than or equal to all processing times of maximum either this or this whether whether it is going to be considered that we have to check whether it is uh, minimum greater than or equal to maximum minimum greater than or equal to maximum first and la last missions minimum and which are greater than or equal to maximum of remaining conditions what that is we have to check in the step two after checking the step two either one step three is either one either this condition one or the condition two or both or both if are satisfied then you have to proceed further that is we can solve the problem otherwise a one for condition one or condition two or both are not satisfied the method is failed the method is failed so you have to go for uh, uh, otherwise means uh, uh, either one or two or both are satisfied then you have to go to next step what is the next step you have to convert k mission problem into two mission problem by introducing two dummy missions g and h such that how to introduce it how to introduce two dummy missions the dummy mission i the processing times are going to be considered tij is equal to 1 to k minus 1th mission 1 to from starting first mission to k minus 1 one mission you have to add the processing times you will get the uh, processing time of g, uh, mission g tij ti1 plus ti2 plus and so on ti k minus 1 the second mission the h mission h the processing times are tih is equal to for second mission to kth mission hope you understand first mission to k minus one mission processing times if you add you will get the mission g and mission h is going to be the processing times of mission h is going to be obtained by second mission to kth mission that is ti2 plus ti3 plus and so on plus tik so two dummy mission g and h we have obtained and in step five what we have to do in the step 5 you have to determine the optimum sequence of uh, jobs uh, n jobs and two missions two mission problem as usual in the johnson's algorithm you have to uh, 
calculate optimum sequence and then optimum sequence you have to identify for two missions dummy missions by using two dummy missions G and H uh, and so that uh, uh, whatever the resulting uh, uh, optimum sequence uh, is going to be obtained uh, for, for which uh, by taking this particular optimum sequence you have to now calculate for all missions uh, mission 1 to mission 6 uh, by taking this particular optimum sequence you have to calculate uh, for all missions uh, the uh, time in and time out uh, and uh, also of course we can calculate the ideal times but our uh, main object objective is to have to calculate total elapsed time by using this particular sequence that is order order of the missions so that is what the the uh, procedure of the n jobs through k missions hope you understand this is just you have to convert the given uh, n jobs and k mission problem into n jobs and two mission problem by using certain procedure i have explained here uh, and then you have to solve you have to obtain optimum sequence and then the problem is again coming back to consider for uh, k missions and then you have to uh, calculate uh, remaining procedure of time in and time out and total elapsed time fine thank you thank you so much